If it's gonna work, that block will now be latched on. What is going on you guys? My name is CPK and welcome to another video on my channel today. I'm back with another episode of One Life, the massive survival server with all of my friends where if you die, you're out. But not only that, every time you turn on Spotify or iTunes or YouTube, the only thing that plays is mine and Jack Sucks podcast, Friends and Nice Guys, the Fang podcast, available now on YouTube iTunes and Spotify. Check the description for a link and uh, make sure to give it a little listen. Uh, it's really fun. We've got two episodes out right now and we're bringing them out once every Wednesday. Very excited about it. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? Last episode popped off. Uh, great response to it. Thank you so much for watching. A lot of people just repeatedly saying the same thing that I cheated. Not even gonna go into it because there's gonna be no convincing anyone of anything otherwise. So believe what you would like to believe. Isn't that right, spinning Edna? I'm not gonna try and convince anyone otherwise. I explained what happened and that is all I'm gonna say on the matter. We're moving on. Today, we are going to be attempting a brave and daring rescue mission of our, uh, fish. Fish? Dolphins. <laughs> Not fish. Dolphin. Wait, are dolphins fish? Ah, uh, dolphins. Fish. Aquatic mammal. Dolphins feed largely on fish. Wow. Well, today I learned that dolphins are savages. So I've got a couple of ideas. I don't know if any of them are going to work. First thing is first. I need to fix this, okay? Someone kept commenting saying, please fix the dirt at your door. I honestly didn't even know what they were talking about. I'd become so numb to this. I hadn't even realized it was there. So let me fix this real quick. Second thing, I am going to be attempting to make a sticky piston to see if I can stick the blocks away. Does that make sense? I need cobblestone, please. Well, I have lots of that. Great news. Right, let's make a... Uh, piston. And now let's sticky that bad boy. Sticky piston. Right. Let's just go try this right away. I am going to be naming fish. Don't worry. I'm going to start doing that at the end of episodes instead of at the start because it just lets me flow the episode a little better. It does mean I'm probably going to start forgetting though. So keep me in check. If I start forgetting, start disliking my video. Don't do that. Please don't dislike my videos. <laughs> but welcome to all the new people who subscribed uh, over the last couple of days. There's been a whole bunch of new people. So thank you for giving me a chance and taking the time to uh, check out my videos. So the plan is we pop a block there. Then we pop a block and then we get rid of the block in the middle. Then we take the sticky piston and we put the sticky piston like so. That couldn't be more wrong if I tried. <laughs> That's better. Now we're gonna get rid of this block. Okay, then we're gonna get rid of this block. My plan is I'm gonna put a block of redstone behind it. It's gonna go and it's gonna stick it and go. That's the plan. Worth a shot, right? If it's gonna work, that block will now be latched on. I really, really wanted it to work. We're gonna go for plan number two. And that is that eventually, so far down, Scott will have forgotten or have gotten lazy and thinks I won't check all the way down to like the bottom floor to see if he's made any mistakes. I really want my dolphins back because I want to do an episode where I breed the dolphins. I mentioned this a couple of times before. I can't do that when the dolphins are held captive. Scott will have had my dolphins captive for 12 days. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, yes, I do still have Frederick, but that's fair game because I need to have something of his because he has something of mine. I'm very petty and that's how I work. We are going to attempt the chorus fruit method too, potentially in here. I know you can put a torch down underwater, right? And that will make like an air bubble. So I could potentially try that. That could work. I just have to be very careful. If it goes wrong, I will literally die. You know, no real time to make mistakes. Another plan has come to light. I am going to try digging down first. That's going to be my first plan. The second plan is frantically use the chorus fruits to try and get in, then frantically bucket myself to safety. If that doesn't work, quick quickly build around myself using this cobblestone. If I block myself in, like a two by two or a three by three, I should be able to then just bucket the water out that's in it and I'll be safe, I think. And then it's just getting back out. That's my plan, is to just put myself in a, a box, essentially. This has a uh, respiration three. I want to test how long I can breathe underwater. I think I was close to a minute. <laughs> right, here we go. So plan number two first, of course, is we're just gonna we're gonna dig really far down and see if Scott has forgotten to to sort this out anywhere. I did obviously make a little start on this down here, but now I have respiration, so I can I can do this for much longer now. <gasps> we're in! We're actually in, right? Are we in? We're in! Oh, we did it! Where are my dolphins? Come on, Scoops! I'm coming back for you guys, don't worry. I'm coming back! We actually got out. I thought he would have covered everything up, honestly. And then when I spoke to him, I even messaged him. I was like, hey, when are you back? I really want my dolphins back. Obviously, he did it for fun. Uh, I guess he didn't think about the fact he was going away for so long. And look at that. Now, we can get them back. Unreal. Okay, right. I'm going to make a couple of quick trips with these guys. They're going to have to go in here for now. I am going to extend this so that dolphins have more room. People were saying it's animal cruelty for me to have dolphins in here. Let 
me tell you this. I'll fix that. So Scooby was mine. Was Fred mine? And that was it, right? And then the other one was his. But there's four in here, isn't there? There's Fred. There's my other one. All right, we're going in. Go, 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 go. I can't believe this worked. Guys, it's so not like Scott to leave a gap like that. Scott's usually very thorough when he does things like this. I really thought he would have just reinforced all the way under as well. I'm glad I didn't have to do my technique of having to like box myself in. By the way, I can like breathe underwater forever. This is sick. Not entirely forever, but for a very long time. And then to make it like nothing's happened, we just block that back up. Look at that. Done. He'll never know. Did I just block that up with a birch block? So I did. Maybe he'll know. My bad. Okay, honestly, I was expecting that to take longer. I'd kind of planned like a full episode about that. Well, we did it a little quicker than that, to be fair. Let me just add the dirt on the way back out so that he doesn't know how we got in and out. Well, job well done. We got our dolphins back. That's nice. You know, the temptation to take Scott's dolphins and put them in a glass box, like in his house that he just can't have is very high right now. It's really, really high. I'm tempted. But if I do that, then this, this petty little theft of of dolphins is just going to keep going on, isn't it? We're just going to keep stealing each other's dolphins and no one's ever going to get anywhere, are they? If we do that. So I'm going to be the bigger man. I'm going to let this go. Wow, imagine if I just tried that right at the start when I started trying to work this out. That would have been so much easier for me. One thing I really want to do at some point, and it's only because I don't know much about it, is I'd love to explore some of these things in the nature's compass. Obviously, some of these, I'm not entirely sure how you get to them. Arctic Abyss. Let's see, that says Biome Alps. Okay, so status not found on the Arctic Abyss. So that one doesn't exist. I think there's quite a few like that. Like, as you get down, some of them are called like magical somethings, I think. Uh, let me look down at the M's. I specifically remember M's. No, I don't. I made that up entirely. Okay, great. I'm making things up now. Brilliant. Look at this. Origin Island. What's that? Biome not found. What are all these cool biomes that are not found? That's what I want to know. I want to explore these places. Look at this. Hell. Two places called Hell. Sounds awful. Unless that's just the nether. Because that's what the nether is, right? It's the uh, Minecraft version of hell, I guess. Ominous woods. Oh, they exist. What's an ominous woods? Should we go to that? What's in the ominous woods? It's that way. It's a whole bunch of this. Okay, I kind of want to see what it is. You guys are curious too, right? Okay, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go check it out. I think I'm definitely going to go check it out. I also really need to put dirt back under these guys. So that they grow their blooming wool back. Bless them. All the scorpions have escaped. It's like a blooming zoo in here. Oh my god, I forgot about baby shark. You've grown up so big. You are not so big baby anymore. Real big shark doo 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 doo. Real big shark doo doo. <laughs> okay, whilst the ominous woods did sound cool, I did just look it up because obviously I wanted to make sure that there was actually going to be something there. Turns out a lot of these biomes literally have nothing in them. I was just looking at this thing called Zeric Shrubland, which sounds great. It's literally a, it's a desert with some grass in. So a lot of them sound really cool, but realistically, they're actually not that cool. Like, look at this. The top block is flesh on visceral heap. I mean, what could that even mean? Can that be a real biome? I'm almost certain it can't. A lot of these don't seem to exist, which makes me think it's either things that have been removed or things that you need other mods for, I would guess, uh, potentially. Oh, an undergarden. What does that mean? Nope, status not found. All the cool sounding ones are not found. Corrupted sand. Can we have one of those? No. Okay, great. Well, this is boring. It's not fair that we can't have any of the cool stuff, right? I want the cool stuff. I just remembered why I left my house in this game about 10 minutes ago. And that was so I could go and kill a couple fish so that we can breed our fish again. Uh, dolphins, what is wrong with me? Hey, you fish. Time to die, mate. So sorry. Right in the... Right in the fisher. I'm actually still quite stressed out that after all this time, I still don't have a jellyfish. And that is the only reason I made the fishnet. Come here, salmon. Now, hey, you better give me more than one fish. You're huge. Nope, just the one. Right, great. Well, blooming heck, secret agent Ent, you've moved. Oh, wait, is original secret agent Ent still there? Oh, there's undercover Ent number two. Secret agent Ent is still there and an active member of the secret agent Ents. They are all becoming secret agent Ents. I like this. This pleases me. Also, it turns out you guys were right when I asked you what this is. A lot of you said it was Ollie's starting house. I asked Ollie about it. He said that's exactly what it was. Pretty wild. I thought you were all wrong. Turns out I was wrong. It's starting to happen a lot. Hey, 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 whoa, hey, hey. What are you doing here, bud? Time for you to go back. Go on. Off you go, sir. All right, come here, fellas. Hey, Fred. Hey, Scoob. Okay, can you guys go near each other now, please? Just to really make sure you do the, do the deed. Steve, you don't want to get in the middle of this, bud. Steve. Last time I just waited and eventually it just popped up saying name your pet. So hopefully that just happens again. That'd be a real treat, you know? Very little work and stuff just happens. I don't know if I've got to be within a certain distance for the, dolf the dolphin to become mine. I'm a little scared that if I run too far away, nothing will happen. So I'm going to hang around for a couple minutes and then we're going to go and grab some fish to name after two of you guys who I have picked out already. So uh, nice and quick, just got to get the fish. Oh my god, what is it? What the heck? What is going on? I was AFK and this little zombie villager just appeared. What? 
What just happened? How did- where did he come from? Scooby and, and Fred could not be further apart from each other right now. I think this might be a bust, guys. So it does say that sometimes, even if you feed them, they actually won't mate. So that- that'll be part of the problem there, is that they can just choose not to. So now what we need to do is go and collect two fish. It's been a very fishy episode, hasn't it? Very fishy episode. I wasn't sure I'd be able to get them out so easily. I was hoping to have to do the chorus fruit method, to be honest. But hey, we- every time I go to use the chorus fruit now, we don't need to because either we work it out Oh, someone's rescued us. Obviously, the last time we went to do it was when we went to save Zodiac. Is that a... Oh, it's an anchovy. Come here, anchovy. You're mine. You're perfect because one of the fish was supposed to be named... Was supposed to be a small fish. So that's great. This works out fine because an anchovy is, in fact, a small fish. In case you didn't know that somehow, by the way. All right, we're back and we are naming the first fish that's getting popped into this little area right here. This name was suggested by Poppy Flowers. who says, name a really tiny fish, Thanos. But do not give him infinity stones. Uh, of course not. I'm not an idiot. Thank you. This is awkward. You know, Fred looks kind of pink sometimes, but then other times he doesn't look remotely pink at all. I really want some of the different colored dolphins. I would love to be a multicolored dolphin collector, if you will. Right, let's go and get ahead and get the final fish of the episode. Will it be named after you? Well, you're about to find out. So, uh, you know, if you've been waiting for that, then here we are. Scouring the world for fish that I haven't already taken. Because I've taken a lot of fish. We're getting quite the aquarium going on now. I want the stingray. I, I want Steve to have a friend. We're going to bring Steve a friend back. The second fish is going to be called Avocado. After after the avocado meme slash vine. Thanks. That one was suggested by Delaney Toma. So uh, thank you very much for those suggestions, guys. Don't forget to get your suggestions in the next episode. Make sure to leave a like on the video and leave me some comments with names for some fishies. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I have been CPK. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you've left a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.